Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Quijano in Studio 57 in New York. It's good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. And in Washington, D.C., CBS News Chief Election and Campaign Correspondent Robert Costa, co-anchors Red and Blue tonight. Hello, Bob. Happy Tuesday. It looks like there will be a vote this week for the president's Supreme Court pick. Great to be with you, Elaine. Indeed, that vote is fast approaching. And we see a lot of Republicans signing on to Judge Jackson's nomination. We'll talk more about that. Here is a look at some of the stories we are watching right now. With an increasing number of images detailing the consequences of Russia's assault on Ukraine, come increasing calls to isolate the Kremlin from Western nations. The latest calls for even more sanctions and the challenges posed by trying to wean countries off Russian oil supply. That and President Zelensky's address to the U.N. Plus, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says a vote on Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson could come by Thursday. Three Republican senators, Susan Collins, Mitt Romney, and Lisa Murkowski, have all said they will back President Biden's pick to become the next Supreme Court justice. And oil company executives appear before Congress with the average price of a gallon of gas running over $4. While top executives claim there is no price gouging happening, those companies are reaping near record profits. What they are expected to tell Congress about why that is. Plus, the former president's daughter and White House advisor Ivanka Trump appeared before the committee investigating the deadly January 6th insurrection on Tuesday. The news comes on the same day, Republican Congressman Fred Upton, who voted to impeach former President Trump in the wake of January 6, announced his retirement. And later this hour, roughly 50 candidates, including one named, no joke, Santa Claus, are vying to fill Alaska's lone congressional seat. Now, former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin has thrown her hat in the ring with the endorsement of former President Trump. How that is shaking up the race and what will be the first test of the recently passed ranked choice voting. But first, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky addressed the U.N. Security Council today for the first time since the Russian invasion of his country over a month ago. Zelensky said the atrocities.